Hey guys, welcome back to Tanks the Final. Um, today is going to be a relatively quick video, um, probably looking about 12 or so minutes. Um, but today I thought I'd just do a, a quick preview um, of the 60TP, the new Tier 10 Polish Heavy Tank um, that will be coming into the game on patch 1.1. Um, and yes, yeah, so I'll give it a, a comparison to some of the other tanks that are out there. Now, straight off the bat, um, the biggest talking point I think about this tank is its absurd alpha damage so it is 750 average damage per shot which is as you'll know um, equal to the E100 um, however there's a few things different so the penetration on the 60TP is 5 millimeters better than the E100 um, it also has a better rate of fire which means that its damage per minute, even for a 750 average damage gun, is over 3,000. And I mean, with an aiming time of 2.3 and accuracy of 0.33, um, you can snipe from the back of the map. No problems in this, um, which is which is great. However, you can also brawl with it. So it comes with 2,600 hit points, which is 100 less than the E100 as well. Um, it has 160 millimeters of frontal hull armor. However, it's sloped very nicely. Um, 100 at the sides and 90 at the rear. However, with the hull, when you're playing this, you will want to be careful. This little driver's hatch here, straight on, can be penetrated with about 250 millimeters of penetration. Now, if the tank is side on, side scraping, and you can see that that's now flat. So, to the side, that is sloped, and that is sloped, that's flat. If you can see to the right of where the mouse is, then you can hit that flat on, and you will go through that if you're using high penetration rounds. Now, the turret is a different story. Um, there is a tiny polar on top. Um, but actually playing it, it is very hard to hit, so it's generally not going to worry too much. Um, now, the front of the turret is 260mm, so you're better off not bothering with the, uh, the turret cheeks um, or, the, or the front because it is just going to bounce. However, this spot here, where we've got at the top, the top of the turret is 50mm thick. Now, 50 millimeters is a very important number because, of course, how overmatching works and gun caliber works in the game, any 151 millimeter guns will overmatch that and penetrate every time. They will not bounce off this. Doesn't matter if it's at this kind of an angle, it will go through there every time. And guess what? This tank just happens to have 152 millimeter. So this tank versus this tank, true here, every time. If you can't get through their lower plate, shoot the top. You're just going to wreck their day. Um, the other thing, the lower plate is severely weak. Um, so you want to be able to hide that as much as possible, which you can do on this because it has 8 degrees of gun depression, which is just crazy for a, a tier 10 tank that's firing 152 millimeter shells. Absolutely bonkers. Um, side of the hull, yeah, nothing too flash, but if they get if they get around the side of you, just shoot anywhere inside the of the tank, you know, go through it uh, at these tiers. Um, and the back is, is 100, so 100 is fine. Um, it's nowhere near as heavy as the E100. I mean, the E100 is, what, 100 plus tons, 140 tons, I think, off the top of my head. Um, and, but, of course, it is also less powerful here. Um, does have a better top speed by 3 kilometers, um, but its reversing speed is actually 14, so it's a little bit less on the reversing side. Um, concealment doesn't really matter because you're in a heavy tank. You're going to be the biggest thing on the battlefield. Um, spotting range, a little bit less um, when it's completely kitted out than 
on the E100, but uh, signal range, I mean, 1,000 kilometers, that's a map, so you shouldn't have any issues with the signal range, you know what I mean? Spotting range, that's, it's, when you've got everything on it, that's decent, that's bloody good. And uh, yes, I've got the Polish camo on it, which is um, always nice. So let's take it for a spin. Hung, he's a good friend of mine, sent through this replay um, last night, uh, just on the 60TP, which we've just uh, shown in the garage. Now it's a little bit of a slow start for uh, Hung. Um, don't know if he's grabbing a coffee or maybe getting a bit of vodka, uh, but he'll get there in the end. Here we go. Um, so, of course, this is a grand battle. Um, it's on relatively newish map. Um, so, maybe a little unfamiliar to, to some people. Um, here he is in the 60TP. Now, keeping in mind that the T service has only been out for a couple of days, um, Hung's done something here that most people would not do with a test server. He's actually taken um, AP rounds, less heat rounds, and only a couple of HG rounds. Um, generally speaking, and everybody will know it, um, going into a test server, you've got unlimited funds, unlimited gold, why why not just fire um, all gold ammo? Well, in this case, um, there's good reason why you wouldn't. One thing is um, heat is Heat is a funny type of ammo. Um, it's good in the fact that over distance it doesn't lose penetration power. Um, the same way AP and APCR does. So basically what it means if you're shooting at someone over a 500 meter distance um, and you shoot them with either HE or HEAT or heat, um, that shell has the same penetration power as soon as it leaves your gun to as soon as it hits the target. All right. However, with AP and APCR, it actually loses penetration power over distance. That's your, um, you know, there's, there's benefits and downsides to it. So that's a huge benefit for heat, it doesn't lose its penetration power. However, it doesn't get normalization against angle armor, and it also is high explosive. So that means it will not go through a building, it will not go through a fence. It will not um, go through tracks, for example. So, if you are going to use heat, make sure you're shooting preferably either a flat surface, um, or if you're a very high caliber, you can sometimes get to an angled surface. Or, um, make sure you don't aim for the side where the tracks are. You want to go, like with the E100, the front of the turret, that's flat, nice and juicy. Heat will just go through that straight away. Uh, whereas, that's from any distance. APCR, it can go through it sometimes, but it's, uh, it's generally depending on how far away from the target you are. Now, this bit here is, uh, it actually gets quite interesting, and this just goes to show the versatility of this tank. Uh, the fact that he has had, <laughs> after that 2600 ammo rack there, um, had four heavy tanks in front of him. Um, now he's got three in front of him, he's got an E50M on well over a thousand hit points right beside him. Now he's bounced off his turret there and uh, Hung is, is going to try and manoeuvre, out manoeuvre this uh, German medium tank. Now, it's quite strange because any medium tank you would generally expect to circle you because you have the speed and mobility over the heavy tank. However, I mean, while this isn't the slowest tank in the game, you know, that Brown is, is firmly on the TOG 2's head, um, it's not exactly fast in terms of turning. So, it's it's better than some heavy tanks, not as good as some others. Um, it's definitely, you know, probably on the side of good rather than bad. Um, but of course, with that armor as well and it being so new um, if people haven't done their research or haven't looked at um, somebody else's videos and they're going to find it hard um, to actually take one of these things down because the side armor is actually quite good um, and the frontal armor is great people that are going to try and take it head on without knowing about that driver's hatch um, they, they're just going to get rolled by this tank 
um, and it, this tank has been likened to kind of like, um, or at least the, the, the tier 8 premium tank um, has been likened to the Defender, you know, with the fact that with the Defender or the Object 252U, you can drive straight into the middle of the field with the whole enemy team, bounce 90% of the shots and still do 2,500 damage. Now, it's, I mean, it's arguable either side, however, in my opinion, um, I definitely don't think it's the case. Um, there's no doubt that this tier 10, the tier 9, tier 8 and even the tier 8 premium are very good tanks. However, it's in the right hands. Um, the, the fact is, is that these tanks do have flaws. Um, they are not the fastest machines. They do have very weak frontal place, uh, frontal lower plates. And if you get around the side of them, um, the side of the tank is flat. There's no angling along the tracks and things like that. Um, and there's that driver's hat. I mean, even if you manage to track one of these guys that's side scraping, um, you can get to that driver hatch just about every time. So, I mean, there is a few things to, to keep in mind about them. Um, because the defender's lower plate, you know, most people can't penetrate that without using gold um, at tier 6, 7, and even some 8s. So, yeah, it's. I would definitely say it's more balanced than the defender um, in terms of the four tanks, so the 8 and then the. Um, 8, 9 and 10, so the 8 premium, 8, 9 and 10. Um, but it will be interesting because generally people don't like um, tank that they can't kill, they will go rush the forums and say it's OP, it says Russian bias and things like that, which is it's just so far gone, it's not even funny now. Um, and especially if you, if you play a wide range of, of nationalities and, and different tanks and things like that, and you have a good grasp um, on all of them, then that's, you know, you don't really run into that because you know yourself what limits are, are on it and if you're unable to um, see the blame yourself, um, so basically, you know, if you can go back through your game, re-watch the replay or even as you're doing it, you can think, actually that wasn't a good idea, I should have gone around the other corner or I should have backed up over the ridge or I should have charged and then things like that. If you can recognise those moments, um, and you can learn from them, not just recognise them, but learn from them, do yourself, you, you will become a better player overall. Um, so anyway, back to, back to Hung's game, he's currently on 5 kills, done 7600 damage. No, nope, let's scrap that, he's on 6 kills, <laughs> done 8200 damage himself. Um, hasn't blocked a whole lot, he uh, has actually taken a lot of hits um, through his lower bases and the side, uh, but he's also done 14, 1400 damage um, is what should have been said at the end of that video, but let's carry on anyway. E60 TP, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If not, then feel free to tell me why. I'm always happy to uh, listen to some constructive criticism or just criticism or compliments, anything you want to throw my way. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Um, there should be plenty more videos coming up in the near future. Um, hopefully next be doing one that um, I've had someone ask for, which is the Turan 3, the Tier 5 premium German tank. It was a Hungarian prototype. Um, so that one's looked forward to. Other than that, uh, we'll catch you next time. Next time. Thanks, guys.